Hey everybody, this is Andrew Isley. Thanks for tuning in to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Arpeggiate Monophonic Arpeggiator. Uh, I've gone ahead and created a subtractor uh, with the Filter Wheeler patch. Uh, this is kind of a cool patch. As I increase the modulation wheel. It opens it up. Uh, but what we're going to do is look at the, um, the Arpeggiator. This is a, a great way of creating some complex uh, patterns on the fly uh, and live. So let's go ahead and select our subtractor. I'm going to go up to create and we will select the RPG8, the RPG8 monophonic arpeggiator. Just like the matrix pattern sequencer, when we flip it around, you'll see that it has routed itself uh, from the note and, and the note CV and gate CV outputs are routed to the gate and CV inputs of the sequencer control in the subtractor, it also has routed uh, modulation wheel and pitch wheel information out uh, and connected itself. So now uh, we need to make sure that we have the arpeggiator track selected, which we do. Uh, one of the cool things about this is I can select the subtractor and play it like I normally would, or I can select the arpeggiator and have it play a pattern. Now, a couple parameters on here. You'll notice uh, it has a manual um, in terms of the MIDI to CV converter section. Uh, there's a velocity. Right now it's set to manual, so depending on how hard or soft I hit it, it will... Uh, it will generate a pattern. Um, we also have the, you can use a fixed velocity as well. You can change the octave if you want to make it higher. Or lower. Uh, there's even a hold button. So if I hit a key, it'll start generating a pattern. Based on the hold. Uh, over here is the actual arpeggiator section. This is where we can go in and change uh, different parameters. I can lower this to, say, an eighth note. And you can change the octaves. So if I hit, say, two octaves, it will uh, generate a pattern that oscillates between two octaves. Now the pattern is going up. If I select down, you can see that pattern going down. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And up and down, which is just exactly like you think it would be. Or you can do manual, which is in the order in which you play the keys. Pretty interesting. Or you can do random, which is also fun. So right now I can hit one key. I'll put it on three octaves. And it's randomly switching between them. Or I could use up and down. Now another thing you can use is the insert. Um, low will repeat the lowest note. As it, as it goes up between the three octaves, high will repeat the highest note. And then um, three to one, four to one. Now this is an interesting effect. If I turn off single note repeat, it will allow me to play it as if, like if I'm playing it monophonically, I'm only playing one note at a time, it just plays it. But if I hold down a chord, it arpeggiates the chord, which is kind of cool. 
Another thing you can do is adjust the gate length. The gate length is how, if I shorten the gate length, it becomes very percussive, almost like a blip. Or I can lengthen it. Another fun thing we can do is to generate patterns. So by turning on pattern, it shows me that pattern, but I, what I can do is introduce rests within that pattern. You also have the ability to change the synchronization. Right now it's on sync to a 16th note, but I can hit free and it'll actually run free running up to 250 hertz, all the way down to 0.1 hertz. You can also add shuffle. Pretty cool stuff, huh? So that about wraps up this tutorial on the Arpeggiate Arpeggiator.